Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here, yes, again, with another Baseball Max video for you. We have done everything on the menu list that you can see in front of you except play, replay a um, All-Star game. And so we will do that today. We are going to replay the 1975 All-Star Game. And uh, previously, I believe, Al Red Sox fan, great channel, check it out. He did the 1979, I believe it was, All-Star Game. So we're going to do 1975. But I have started a uh, season, a historical season, the 1972 season with the White Sox. And we have one video from that, the opening day video. Um, we did a, um, we've done an exhibition game between two teams from baseball history, and that was the, uh, the most recent being the, uh, 20, um, what was it, Tw 2001 Mariners against the 1927 Yankees, um, and I have done a today game, a, a game that I picked out from the schedule, for that particular day and played the game ahead of the actual game being played. And so, with all of that out of the way, we're going to do the All-Star Game. So, let's play the All-Star Game. Now, I want to um, say that uh, we are going to, let's see, what year we're going to do? 1975, so let's find 1975. I want to let everyone know that I will be managing the American League team and I will be managing it the way, roughly the way, I mean not exactly, but roughly the way that um, an all-star team would be managed. So I'm going to shuffle people in and out of the lineup throughout the game. I have no idea how the manager for the National League, the uh, AI manager, will manage the National League team, but that doesn't really matter. and It's not something I'm in control of. So, as you can see, the pitching matchup will be Jerry Royce for the National League, and we're going to have Vita Blue pitching for the American League. And so, with all of that having been said, let's get on with the action. And take a look at these lineups. All right, so here is the American League lineup. It's going to be Bobby Bonds leading off and playing center field, followed by Rod Carew at second base, batting second. Then Thurman Munson will be the catcher, batting third. Reggie Jackson will bat in the cleanup spot and be the right fielder. Joe Rudy will bat fifth and be the left fielder. Greg Nettles will bat sixth and be the third baseman. Gene Tennis will do the catch. Or no, he's not going to do the catch. He's going to be the first baseman for the American League. And then uh, Bert Campanaris will be the shortstop. And batting in the ninth spot will be Vida Blue. Probably no more than once, if even once. Um, as I said, I will try to shuffle people in and out. And that lineup will be facing Jerry Royce. So, the National League lineup is going to be Pete Rose leading off and being the right fielder. Pl uh, batting second will be Lou Brock, the left fielder. Batting third will be Joe Morgan at second base. Followed by Johnny Bench at catcher in the cleanup spot. So, you've got uh, three of the first four guys are Reds. Then batting fifth will be Steve Garvey at first base. Jimmy Wynn will be in center field, batting sixth. Ron Say is going to bat seventh, be the third baseman. Dave Concepcion will be the shortstop, batting eighth. And, of course, Royce in the ninth spot. With all of that said, let's get on with this game. And so you've got Pete Rose stepping in against Vida Blue. So let's see what happens here. That is going to be the catcher card, and it's a ground out. So there's one down quickly, and uh, Lou Brock is the batter. 
And Lou Brock will fly out. That's two down. And Joe Morgan. is the Look at all those walks on Joe Morgan's card. But that's a ground out to Vida Blue. So Blue retires the side. One, two, three. And Bobby Bonds will be the first batter for the American League. And he'll be facing Jerry Royce. So that's going to be a 111. Ground ball to the shortstop. So we have one down quickly. And Rod Carew batting second here. And that's a possible home run by Rod Carew. And it is. Rod Carew hits a home run off of Jerry Royce to give the American League a one-run lead, one to nothing, which brings up Thurman Munson, the catcher. And he gets a 2-10 or 9, and that's a fly ball to left field. There's two down, and Reggie Jackson is up. Reggie Jackson apparently not very good against left-handed pitching. And that's going to be a line out. So um, the American League gets a run, and we go to the top of the second where Johnny Bench will face Vita Blue. And that's going to be a strikeout, so there's one down. And the next batter is Steve Garvey, the first baseman. He gets a 2-5. That's a ground ball. There's two down quickly. And Jimmy Wynn is up. Jimmy Wynn, again, a lot of walks. And he does walk off the pitcher's card, although he had a lot of them on his own card. And Ron Say is the batter, the Penguin, the third baseman for the Dodgers. And he strikes out. So only one man has reached for the National League in two innings, and we go to the bottom of the second, where the American League will send up Joe Rudy. And Joe Rudy is going to send a ground ball out to um, the shortstop who will make the play, and there's one down. Greg Nettles is up. And Greg Nettles has a possible home run, although this would be a fly ball if he doesn't get it. But he gets it, and the American League extends their lead on a second solo home run for the junior circuit, and Gene Tennis is the batter. And he is going to get a single. So Jerry Royce has uh, not pitched well against this American League lineup so far with Burt Campy, Campanaris up and only one out. And that's going to be a ground ball into a double play. So that is it. But the American League struck for a run. And now the National Leaguers will come up with Dave Concepcion batting against Vida Blue. After this inning, I will start considering making replacements. Uh, single one to eight. And that's going to be a line out. So, I mean, Vida Blue is pitching so great, it's going to be a shame to take him out. But we this is an all-star game, and I do want to manage it as closely to the way an all-star team would be managed as I can. There's two down, and uh, Pete Rose up. I mean, he is stymieing this American League, or this National League lineup. Single one to four. In fact, I may try to extend him a fourth uh, into the fourth. Generally don't like to do that, but, uh, you know, because this is an exhibition American, you know, um, exhibition game. Vi well, Vita Blue is batting, so we will do that then. So let's go down here. And um, I will bat. Who am I going to bat here? We'll bat George Hendrick. So, oh, yeah, yeah, we got to. Well, all right, here we go. Take him out, put in George Hendrick, replace him. Okay. So George Hendrick is now batting, and so Vita Blue only will go the three innings because he was batting, and we want to get as many people into this game as we can. 
And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So Hendrick is out, which brings up Bobby Bonds. And Bobby Bonds gets a 6-11. That is going to be a fly to the right fielder, and that is the second out. And Rod Carew is up to plate. And that is a 4-7, and he strikes out. So we are going to make a pitching change. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, we will replace Hendrick with um, well, wait a minute. No, let's not. We're going to replace Vita Blue with um, Huh. I'm going to put Jim Hunter, Jim Catfish Hunter in. And, uh, and then, uh, uh, it doesn't look like they, he did that. Okay, replace him. Kindly update your lineup. Okay, so we will replace him here with Hunter. Okay, so now we're set. So we will continue on. Um, Jim Hunter is out there pitching against Lou Brock. The American League has the two-run lead. 1-5 is a walk. So Brock gets aboard. you got to watch for him to steal, of course. Uh, he is watched, though, so we'll just keep the watch on. That's the best thing we can do. He is trying to move away from the base. He's unable to get a good lead, though. Lou Brock can't get a lead on that. And that's going to be a 1-7. That's another walk. So we brought in Hunter, and he's throwing gasoline all over the place. He only has a two-run lead. It's not like we can afford to give up too many runs here. Johnny Bench is the batter. That's a single one to four. Let's see if they can come up with it. They don't. So it is a line out. There's one down. Runners are at first and second here in the National League fourth with Steve Garvey up. And he is going to fly out. So there's two down here in the fourth inning for the National League. And Jim win the batter. And he gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. So Thurman Munson is up. And he will swing away. And that's a single. Thurman Munson gets on with a single off Jerry Royce. Which brings up Reggie Jackson, and I am going to pinch hit for Reggie Jackson. Um, and he, let's see, we need another right fielder or outfielder or whatever. A lot of left fielders here, but anyway, I am going to replace him with, I think we will go with... Well, let's go with Hank Aaron. you got to get Hank Aaron in the game, right? So Hank Aaron is going to pinch hit. And that is going to be a walk. Hank Aaron walks. So there's no outs. Runners are at first and second. And now with Joe Rudy up. We're going to let Joe Rudy hit for right now. He gets a 1 4, and that's a double play. So he's going to ground into a double play. We got a runner at third with two away, and Greg Nettles is the batter. And he gets a 2 10, that's going to be a ground out. So no runs for us, and yes, we will change that. We make that change. Um, Hank Aaron, we will put in right field. And 
We will pitch with Jim Catfish Hunter. And that's going to be a ground ball for Ron Say. So one down in the National League fifth with Dave Concepcion up. Yeah, it doesn't look like the computer is going to do that. The computer is going to manage it like a regular team playing against another regular team. But that's fine. They can do what they want. I'm not going to um, say otherwise. 1-8. That's a double 1-4 to four possibility here. And it's a single. So um, Jerry Royce, that was Jerry Royce batting. They even let him bat. Hmm. All right, um, Pete Rose is the batter with Jerry Royce aboard at first base, and that is going to be a ballpark single, 55% chance here, and they get it. Pete Rose gets the hit. So there are two on with two out, and Lou Brock is the batter, and I think I am going to make a change right here. I'm going to go to the bullpen we are going to take Hunter out. We are going to put in... Um, I'm going to put in Jim Cott. And then we are going to go from there. So Jim Cott is now pitching. And that's going to be a 6-5, which will be a strikeout. So we are up. The American League is up here with Gene Tennis at the plate. I will pinch hit for Gene Tennis. No, I'll let him. I'll let him bat. I'll let him get one more at bat. That's going to be a strikeout. He strikes Jerry Royce strikes him out, and Bert Campanaris is up. I will make a try to make a replacement here. And we will replace Campanaris with Toby Hara. Toby Hara batting against Jerry Royce. And that will be a 6 8, and that's a walk. So Toby Hara is aboard. Jim Cott is the pitcher, and we will pinch hit for him. So I'm going to pinch hit. Uh, I'm going to pinch hit Hargrove. We'll pinch hit Hargrove for him. Mike Hargrove is batting against Royce, and he gets a 110, and that's a walk. So there are two runners aboard now with only one out, and Bobby Bonds is the batter. Let him hit. Gets a 6-9. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, and it is a double play, and the American League is out of that inning. With Joe Morgan stepping up, but first I have to make my defensive replacements. Uh, Hera will be the shortstop. And um, we will re replace Cott with uh, Nolan Ryan. I'm going to get my man Nolan Ryan in the game. And we will replace Hargrove with Ryan. And Ryan will be dealing to Joe Morgan. The American League leading 2 nothing here. 6-12, that's going to be a ground ball to second base, and he's out. One down quickly, and Johnny Bench is the batter. That's a 2-7, it's a strikeout. Nolan Ryan, known for his strikeouts, the all-time strikeout leader for pitchers, strikes out Johnny Bench, and that's going to be another strikeout. He strikes out Steve Garvey. And so the National League gets no runs in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Rod Carew is the um, is the batter, and we will let him hit. Jerry Royce still out there. Obviously, he is running his team like a normal team. And Thurman Munson is the batter. I am going to replace Thurman Munson. I believe. 
Should I? Should I do that? No, we won't. We'll let him bat. 6-4, Thurman Munson possibly gets a hold of one. He doesn't, though, but it's a double. It's a double. We'll take it. There's one out and a man at second, and that is Munson with Hank Aaron coming up. Hank Aaron getting the 2-5. That's a triple 1-4 to four or a single, and that will be a single. Let's see if Munson scores on that. No, he does not. But runners are... Oh, wait a minute. Did he? Oh, yeah, he did. All right. Yeah, Munson did score. So the American League now has a 3 nothing lead, and Joe Rudy is the batter. I'm going to pinch hit for Joe Rudy. He is a left fielder. Um, so we will replace him. I noticed that there was a lot of left fielders. Is he the left fielder? I think he is. So we're going to replace him with... Claude L. Washington. So Claude L. Washington is now batting against Jerry Royce. It's kind of a bummer that he's not managing the team that way. But anyway, it's a strikeout. And there are two down for Greg Nettles. And I will let Greg Nettles... Uh, bat. And he gets a 1-7, which is a double 1-2... And also, I want to point out, in real life, the National League actually won this game. So, that is a double, and uh, we have runners at the corners with two down, and Gene Tennis up. Now, I believe he's the DH, so we'll let him hit. Or no, there is no DH. Oh, he's a first baseman. He's the first baseman. That's going to be a fly to center, but it cannot be played, and it's a single. So we get another run. We've got a second run here in the sixth with Toby Hara up. And Toby Hara is going to strike out. So we get two runs in the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh inning. And we have some defensive replacements again to, to uh, make. We are going to, let's see, what was it? Oh, yes, we, we need to put Claude L. Washington in left field, which we will do. And now Nolan Ryan is going to pitch to Jim Wynn with the American League having a 4 nothing lead. And that is a 1-9. That is going to be a single for Jim Wynn. He's aboard. Which brings up Ron Say, the Penguin. He gets a 3-10, and that's going to be a, a home possible home run for Say. And it is. The National League is on the board with a two-run home run by Ron Say. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it going to be robbed? It could be robbed, but it isn't. It's a home run. So the score is now 4-2. Ryan giving up that home run to Say, and that brings up Davy Concepcion. No outs here. And that's going to be a fly out to center. So there's one down. Which brings up Jerry Royce. I wonder if they're going to pinch hit for him now. They are going to pinch hit for him. And Bobby Mercer is pinch hitting for the, uh, for the pitcher, Jerry Royce. And we will pitch to him. And that's going to be a ground ball B. And now I will go to the bullpen and go get another pitcher because we're trying to be, uh, you know, running this like a regular all-star team. <coughs> and we will bring in Steve Busby to replace Nolan Ryan. So, uh, <coughs> pitching to Pete Rose. And that's going to be a strikeout. Busby strikes out Rose. There is one down. And Steve Busby is the batter. Um, I am, yeah, I'll pinch hit for him. And we're going to pinch hit. Um, 
Let's see. We're going to pinch hit Carl Yastrzemski for Busby. Yes, gets a ground ball to second base. So there's one down. And Matlack, by the way, is the new pitcher for the National League, and Bobby Bonds will be the batter. And that's a possible home run by Bobby Bonds. It's a double. So we're ha we have a man at second with one away. And Rod Carew is up. Let's see if I want to pinch hit for him. Second base. Do we have a second baseman over here? We do. We will pinch hit George Orta for Rod Carew. And we will swing away. John Matlack doesn't have a lot on his card there. Only uh, walks at 8 and 9 and a possible double at 10. But anyway, there's a possible ballpark single. And it is. It's a single. And uh, Orta is aboard. And we have the chance to send the runner at 95%. I'm going to definitely do that. The runner is being waved home. The throw is coming home. Um, we're going to send the trailing runner as well. We have good odds on that. Trailing runner is trying to advance. Throw is not cut off. And it will be a safe 1-19. to And it is. And so we extend our lead. The American League now has a 5-2 to two lead in the game with Thurman Munson up. And we are going to pinch hit for Thurman Munson with um, Bill Freehand. Bill Freehand is batting against Matlack. And they're going to bring in a new pitcher. They're bringing in Phil Necro to face Bill Freehand. And that's going to be a fly ball B. So there's two down, and Hank Aaron is the batter. I think we will um, pinch hit for Hank Aaron. And we're going to bring in Freddie Lynn. Fred Lynn pinch hitting for Hank Aaron against Phil Necro. And it's an intentional walk. They intentionally walked Freddie Lynn to get to Claudel Washington with runners at first and second and two down. And that's a 5-4. That's a catcher card X, and it's a ground out. But the American League does get a run and extend their lead, and we have to go fix up these positions uh, let's see here. Freehand will be the new catcher. Orta will be the new second baseman. And um, let's see. We're going to move Bobby Bonds to right field. And we're going to put Freddie Lynn in center where he normally would play. And we also have to replace Busby at pitcher. We're going to bring in Raleigh Fingers. And we have to replace Yastrzemski with Raleigh Fingers. And I think we're set to go. Everything is set to go now. Lou Brock is the batter against Raleigh Fingers here in the 8th. American League leading 5-2. And that's going to be a strikeout. Raleigh Fingers blows Brock away and that brings up Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan is going to walk. So Morgan's aboard with one out. And Johnny Bench is the batter. Runner moves away from his base. He's attempting to steal. We're going to throw for the runner. Because it wouldn't be 
Catcher makes the throw, attempted steal. He's only out on 20. And he is safe. So Morgan steals second base, and now Johnny Bench will bat with Morgan at second. And only one out here. 6-12, that's a fly to right. Fly out, runner has a chance to tag up. But he will hold at his base. There's um, two down, and Steve Garvey is the batter. And Steve Garvey's going to strike out. Raleigh Finger strikes him out. We go to the bottom of the eighth, where Greg Nettles is batting. And I will just let him hit. Gets a 2-11. That's going to be a pop-out. One down. Gene Tennis, the first baseman. Let's see if we can pinch hit for Gene Tennis. Do I have a first baseman over here? I just happen to. We will replace Gene Tennis with George Scott. So George Scott will bat against Phil Necro. That's a 6 8, and that's a strikeout. So there's one away. Two away. There's two away, and Toby Hara is the batter. And Toby Hara is going to walk. So we've got a man aboard now with two down. Raleigh Fingers is the batter, so we will pinch hit for Raleigh Fingers with Dave Chalk. Dave Chalk is a new batter against Phil Necro. That is a 2-5, and that's a single. Dave Chalk rips a single. There's two on with two out. Ooh, and we have a chance to send the lead runner, and I'm going to do that at 95%. Throw cut off. Runner stays at first. Hera takes third. So, we've got runners at the corners with two down, and Bobby Bonds is up. And he gets a 4-10, and that's going to be a ground to the shortstop, and he's out. So, we didn't push another run across. We go to the top of the ninth, and we do have some positions to clean up here. We're going to put George Scott at first base, and we will replace uh, Raleigh Fingers with Goose Gossage and that means that we have to replace Dave Chalk with Goose Gossage. So Jimmy Wynn facing Goose Gossage and wow look at that card for Gossage. Only walks at three uh, at uh, at four three four four and four five and that's it. And that's going to be a ground ball to short for win. So there's one down. Ron Say, the Penguin, is up. Three-run lead here for the American League. Not how it happened in real life. That's a strikeout for Gossage. And so uh, Dave Concepcion, it's all up to Dave Concepcion. And they are going to pinch hit for Dave Concepcion with Reggie Smith. And now Gossage's card is a lot worse. And uh, it just got even worse. There's a possible home run 1-4 to four here for Reggie Smith. And it is a home run. The National League pulls within 2. The score is 5-3. And now we're back to the good Gossage card as Phil Necro is a batter, but they'll pinch hit for Phil Necro, I'm sure. They do, and they do it with Larry Boa, of all people. So Larry Bow is pinch hitting for Nutsy. And uh, let's see what happens here. 2-8. That's going to be a single. We're not out of the woods yet, people. Runners are uh, runner at first with two out. And Pete Rose the batter. And that's going to be a 6-4. That's a ground third base. And it gets by the third baseman for a single. So we've got runners at first and second with two down, and Lou Brock is the batter. 
and they're going to pinch hit L. Oliver. L. Oliver is pinch hitting. All right, so they're doing all of their replacements in the uh, eighth and ninth innings here. One six, though, that's a fly ball, and that should be the ball game. With the final score, the American League beating the National League of 1975 in the All-Star Game by the score of 5-3. to three. We will take a look at the box score. Just take a look there. I'm not going to go over what everybody did. Maybe the pitchers will do the pitchers. For the National League, Royce went six innings. He allowed eight hits and walked three and allowed four earned runs. John Matlack only went a third of an inning, allowed two hits and a run. And Phil Necro went one and two-thirds and allowed one hit and walked two, no runs. Vita Blue went three. He allowed no hits and only one walk and no earned runs. He was replaced by Hunter, who got the win going one and two-thirds and allowing two hits and no earned runs and walking two. Cott got a hold. He went a third of an inning and allowed um, nobody on, striking out one. Ryan got a hold. He went one and two-thirds, allowed two hits and walked nobody but allowed two runs. Busby went a third of an inning and allowed no one on and struck out a man. Fingers went one inning and walked one and allowed no runs and Gossage went one inning allowed three hits one run and struck out one and so that is the game and uh, the American League pulling it down as they did not do in real life by the score of 5-3 and that will be it for me Sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off